What a beautiful day in Arizona. Every day is a beautiful day here. Pretty much. So, like, who are we? Why should people watch our channel? <laughs> so, like, when we met, I was living in Rapid City, South Dakota. And you were traveling full time. I just basically posted on Facebook or something, right? And said, you know, like, if anybody wants to do some photography, I got a few days mm -hmm. available. And I was in Montana, which is beautiful. And you came up from Rapid, Rapid City and uh, drove oh. like a really long way it's just way to do some camera stuff with me. <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't know. And you're the only one that showed up. Yeah. So it was just you and I hanging out. At the Cottonwood Arena. Yeah. You know, I needed help real bad because like I always, I always had to hire new people every weekend and that's annoying. And then you started coming more consistently and then started traveling with me and that was very consistent. <laughs> and then I retired from that crap in 2020, at the very end of 2020. I retired from that life. And, uh, and then we moved here January 1st, 2021 to this place in Arizona and kind of fizzled out the horse and rodeo stuff. But. So I was at a point in my life where like I Oh, was almost wanting to buy a tiny home for myself because I was so sick of moving, <laughs> like mm -hmm. packing my crap up and changing houses and doing different stuff. Um, and then you were like, yeah, I live in the fifth wheel. And I was like, convenient. <laughs> I think after I met you, it was like, well, why not like work for yourself? Like you could do news and put it on YouTube or you could whatever. Mm -hmm. That little nugget of you could literally do it yourself. Like there's nobody... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> There's no gatekeepers. Like, you can have a radio show and call it, you know, and it's called a podcast. You can, you know, yeah. write your own newspaper and it's called a blog. You could, whatever. So, I think that was huge for me in being like, oh, you're right. Like, <laughs> there is no gatekeeper anymore. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's not like the 80s, 90s <laughs> mm -hmm. where you had to, like, get a job. Mm -hmm. So, that was really big for me. And so, I left my contract and traveled with you and started you know my own business flyers and logos and just business cards and random stuff to kind of like get me along while mm -hmm. we were traveling which extended my network of people which got me more jobs which led to like more and more and more and more right classic snowball yeah and you got an immediate pay raise right <laughs> yeah because <laughs> i offered you more money it was an immediate pay raise when you decided to retire that was your decision like obviously all these images was your business and i was kind of like oh just along for the ride there was really very few people doing it at the level i was doing it and i didn't look up to any of them not a single one did i think oh i would really like to be doing it the way you're doing it kind of felt alone at the top there mm -hmm. and I'm not saying I'm like the best in the world or whatever but from what I could tell the other people that were doing what I was doing just didn't I didn't want to be associated with them and I didn't mm -hmm. I dang sure didn't look up to them but they like talk about like gatekeeping kind of thing like that's a, a huge gatekeeping industry where people don't want to share their knowledge or mm -hmm. I don't want to tell people like their secrets which is why i created equine photo school yeah and still even this morning i got a message can i buy your course <laughs> why did why arizona i was coming down here for the winter and i just thought out of all the places that i've been which is a lot of places you know some people are like oh yeah i traveled once or whatever i'm like i traveled full time for six <laughs> years and i've been to a lot of places arizona is the best and that's that's where i like to spend my free time and that's where i like to hang out and there's so much to do and see and um you know it's just it's just nice right and, and the weather is beautiful the most duration yeah. out of the year so even today i don't have my watch on so i don't know what the temperature is this morning but it is a beautiful, beautiful morning. Sure, it'll get up to 90s today, probably. No? 109. Ooh, 109. Yeah. Even better. So the the nice thing about laser engraving, though, is like the opposite of photography. Everybody wants to help each other. I mean, not everybody. Like, there's definitely some bad apples out yeah. there. Just like in photography, you know, the, the operating of the equipment isn't what people are paying you for. You know, they're not paying you because you know how to change the settings on your camera to the right ones. 
which there's a bunch of right ones and just like laser engraving there's a bunch of right settings yeah. you know like the people are paying you for your artistry and your eye and your the, the things that come free but are skills yeah. like they're paying you for your skills and the outcome it's the final product that people want they don't care about your settings whatever and it doesn't matter how good you are at running the machine or how bad you are at running the machine. Like if I teach you how to run a machine really well right. and you go make some totally other product than what I'm making and pitch it to totally other people than what I can reach, like you're never going to interfere with my business, right. right? Yeah, I mean it wasn't like, oh, I just, you know, it, I saw this laser on Facebook Marketplace and the idea popped into my head to buy one. Right. I, I'd been wanting one for quite a while and just was a little discouraged by the cost of them. I shot for the moon, man. I was like, I'm getting an epilogue, maybe a Trotec, you know, like they're wicked fast. They're clearly the best in the industry. Like they're head and shoulders above the next step down, right? I just could not justify that cost, you know? <laughs> like they start at 25 grand and go to 100 grand real quick. Mm -hmm. And I was like, whoa. We got that boss for half the price of new, mm -hmm. so it was pretty tough to, Turn that up. down, yeah. Yeah, she bought the boss a little, a year and a half ago. It's yeah. been now. Yeah. And the Mira we've had for a, a month. month maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Which is wild that, that I just said that out loud because it feels like it's been here longer than a month. Yeah, I don't know if it's the efficiency of it or what it is that it's like, this is the ticket. Like, this yeah. feels so much better. Fully into laser engraved materials now. Yeah. Uh, like you said, we do a lot of leather patch hats. Do the leather measuring bracelets, the ruler bracelets. Those are our m most sold product. Easily, um, yeah. yeah. I mean, easily. We've, we've sold 2,500 or more of those. You and know. still the long tail of it is like, we're still selling multiple a day. Yeah, yeah. So it's not a lot, but like, it's still coming in, it's right. crazy. So it's like we have our hands in a lot of different areas, a lot of different buckets of, yeah. of things going on. I think the fun thing is business owner too and my consult yesterday, it was like, this is your business. You get to do whatever you want. Like litter, you get to make up the rules. Like whatever you want it to be, that's what it can be. And I think that's the cool thing as a business owner too. Like we can do laser and video. Anyway, fun times. Her phone died. And now you've got a good idea of what you're gonna see in the daily vlogs. Uh, see you guys later.